Uh, hello, I'm Darren McMahon, and I will be talking about my virtual ethnography RuneScape, um, which uh, I found quite an interesting experience. But firstly, I will go over the navigation of uh, the game's fundamentals and um, just a brief uh, intro of what structure the game follows and uh, the equipment and all. Um, so, firstly, over there on the right hand side is the bag pack. Currently, you see a sword. Uh, food items such as lettuce, which I countlessly used as a good source of nourishment to heal regenerate the player's health when he got injured in battle or other elements. Um, next, some of the equipment. Currently, what I'm wearing, as you see there, all from helmets and all. My character is wearing all that on him. Uh, next, I briefly went over the magic ability and... Uh, other, other, basically some whole magical powers. But uh, seeing how I am a mage class, I very only have very few to unlock. Um, this is strength. So like the more you do in combat training, the more you will unlock via kicks, melees, and there is stats. Stats will basically give you a general overview of what my um health structure and all is. So you'll see that again here. The stats there over to the right. Skills. Um, basically my health, my combat skill, etc. Total level 57, um, combat level 11, my total XP there over tr near 4000 experience points and membership yes so this is videos where uh, when I became a member and some uh, features, few features are available there like more um, uh, space in my inventory slots there and there's my current uh, quest progression and achievement progression skills these are just um, skill just various skills that i can increase whether it's in the cooking area the ability agility or attack um just different ways and then giving them um, in detailed instructions uh how to yeah what level i may have to be and what the uh, rewards i can get in completing a certain day skill you know so it will benefit you maybe in certain battle battle zones you know you using a skill <clears throat> Um, so I'm just kind of going through the rest of them there and um, next pets pets I didn't get a pet unfortunately but I do uh, come to show pe pets in a few minutes when I teleport so you'll see what a pet is actually in the game and they're quite cool I must say uh, these are achievements kind of like any Xbox PlayStation sort of system uh, similar principle you do them out of fun it's, uh, you know a self reward in a way you know you just kind of do it just yeah, for self-reward, I suppose would be the best way. Currently, uh, active task, you see the death of uh, Shelbury, if I'm pronouncing it right, it mightn't be. But um, that's my current quest, so this is kind of... I'm in the middle of a quest while I'm videoing this, but uh, I just thought I'd video it now. Currently, gear, um, nice wee kind of like a dressing room comes above you. But, um, so, title, so you can have like a sigil, sorry, not sigils, I mean a title, like so. Uh, you will currently see it comes up to me, uh, I have the real Ongea, Ongea being my uh, username. But uh, I could change it between the couple there, but um, the more you play, the more you can unlock other ones. So, there's, I'm called the real Ongea. There's other, various other ones, uh, Lord, um, Knight, etc. Um, currently, that's just another variation of looking at stats, uh, wardrobe, what I'm currently wearing, what outfit, you know, from capes to head items, etc. Um, so it's just general gear. And then, did, yeah, um, appearance, what I um Currently, I was kind of wondering when I was doing this, but uh, no, it's kind of my face. I was there changing the color, but I realized it's actually changing the color of my character's uh, paint, paint on the face. But sure, I have a mask on, so you can't see it. But um, it's a nice, uh, nice wee features in the game. It's quite uh, expand ex explanatory. The game, like you know, there's a lot of options for for an uh, online, you know, web browser game. It's quite uh, quite uh, detailed, like or has a vast uh, selection. But um, here is uh, just a general view of uh, tasks, quests, so the red ones I haven't started and currently over there to the, in the big box is currently the one I'm on and the stages of objectives I've completed and where I'm current, the goal one is currently where I am um, at at the minute so in other words I have to go and defeat, finish off Dawn which I will tend to do after this <laughs> so there's other like we um, in game mini mini games contests in the game and you have more access to them if you become a member so yeah I've noticed a few nicer uh, mini games it's less bogeyer than the free to play games but that's to be expected when you're a member <clears throat> so um I will now go to I think 
show my just the, oh yeah sorry social aspects of the game uh, the social aspects of the game so there's various uh, social aspects from the game from the runescape moderator help uh, from where it can give you detailed instructions how to play or you can actually get live um, support and then there's also settings and um, the settings are via the audio quality the graphical quality it all depends on your operating system and what it can support it usually gives you a a rough idea what it what it should be uh, customized to so it's quite uh, it's quite advanced i think for like a web browsing game and over there to the left at the bottom left is the chat uh, feature which is you can do clan chat friend chat private chat various chat public chat uh, currently i'm doing em emotives or just emotions or various gestures from like spinning around yes and no just nice wee features and the more you um play complete quests or uh, challenges the more uh, motives you can, or gestures you can unlock so it's just other ones you can turn the a uh, turn off private chat off or turn off public chat etc and over there that text box is just a feed of text that comes in from the uh, chatting to public members or in a public uh, facility area that's the feed that uh, comes in so now i will go and show um yeah so now i'm back and now i'm just going to teleport so those places that are locked i have are some of the ones i haven't been to but the other ones that are unlocked are the ones i have been to so now i'm just currently tele uh, teleporting to a town i've recently been to which is quite hand which is quite a handy feature i must say and <laughs> i've quickly get out of a mess as well so that big board or big board as i like to call it um is one of the pets and along with the rock monster kind of reminds me of pokemon a bit but uh, nice wee um nice wee icons to the game i think kind of makes it so basically that was just a rough overplay of the game runescape i will further go into more detail of the game um in my other play in my other playthrough about and talk more about the community thanks